Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another video about Assassin's Creed Unity and not Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Victory. It's a video about Assassin's Creed Victory, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about is how they can improve upon the side quests that were in Assassin's Creed Unity. So what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about side quests and the side missions and the collectibles and all that cool stuff. And what they could do with that in Assassin's Creed Victory to make it a lot better than it was in Unity because it was a bit poor and a bit lacking. And we're going to jump into this and tell me what you guys think in the comments below. What kind of side quests do you want? Uh, let me know in the comment section below and as always be sure to smack that like button because it'll be absolutely amazing So we're gonna hop right into this. Uh, let's go. Okay, so in Assassin's Creed Unity We didn't have many side quests. The only side quests I can really remember were the cafe theater missions Murder mysteries, Paris stories, social club missions, co-op and collectibles and that was written down I didn't remember those off the top of my head um, But starting with the cafe theater mission those were kind of okay ish They were kind of fun like just as you were playing them, but they weren't really fun out they weren't really that great but they were they were the best out of the side mission thing the murder mysteries i did think they were a good concept but personally i didn't enjoy them maybe it's something to, something through my patience although i did enjoy like games like la noir and stuff like that and they were quite fun um so i'm not really sure what, what it was about the murder mystery i didn't like I, I haven't really played many so i can't really comment but the murder mystery were a cool idea and i think they could definitely return in victory which they probably will uh the paris stories were the next things uh, they were basically comprised of you would like go around the city, you would talk to random people, like different, kind of interesting, weird, crazy people, and you'd do little missions for them, and they were a bit pointless and a bit boring, and they didn't really serve a purpose, they were just kind of there to fill gaps in the game. Um, the next is social club missions, and they were just fucking shit. Um, co-op missions, which were a little bit boring, let's be honest, I didn't really like the co-op, and I haven't really touched it since the game first came out. And then we had some good old collectibles, which weren't the greatest, because they were like, you know, they we had the cockades, there was like some shield things, and then we had Nostradamus enigmas, and they all felt pointless. Um, so what I really think we need to do is look at Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, because that had some great stuff in it. So we had the shipwrecks, the naval forts, we had the Kenway fleet, we had the naval contracts, we had the assassination contracts, Mayan stones, Templar keys, um, and loads of different other little things that were in it. And they were really, really cool. Now obviously we can't have like shipwrecks, naval forts, and like that. I'm not saying introduce naval, please don't introduce naval into victory, but... What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, we need stuff like that, so the assassination contracts from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag were really, really cool, and they were done in a really cool way, like, you'd go and get this contract, and you'd be like, the guy's on this island, you have to sail to the island, you have to sort out a way of getting him, and then you'd eventually take him out, but I think what they need to do with Assassin's Creed Unity is work on assassination contracts and make a really rich, kind of living world in which the assassina assassination contracts are really well thought out, so what could happen is, you have a target, and they have a nice backstory, but what you have to do is you have to do investigations to find that target. So, if you remember the assassinations, the main assassinations from Assassin's Creed 1, if you had, like, 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 um, like, missions like that, but they were side content. So you'd go somewhere, like, to, like, a bureau, if there were different assassin bureaus throughout the, throughout, throughout the game, each of them would have, say, like, three missions for you, right? There'd be, like, main assassinations, and these assassinations would probably take half an hour to an hour to complete, and what you'd do is, you would have to go around the world, you'd have to find these um, investigations like pickpocketing, interrogation, eavesdropping, those kinds of things, but maybe some other ones added in. And then when you've done all that and you've got your investigation, you go back to the bureau and be like, I've got my information. And then what you do is you go out into the world, but out into like Victorian London, and you take out your target. And that would be a super cool way of having the assassination contracts intertwine with kind of the assassin story, and also make them feel like they had a point to them. But then also what you could do is, if you fail the assassination, you don't just fail and then restart. When you fail, they're like, they can escape, they can possibly like kill you, and that will like set you back, like you'll be injured or whatever. Um... And then what'll happen is if you fail, they'll then be the back out of their own world and that'll have repercussions. So when you want to try and take them out a second time, you want to try again, they're going to have defences. So you're going to have to try and like sort out these defences before you can go and get to them. Like they could have guards at gates, they could have barricaded walls, they could have like these um like turreted like guns and things. Like not necessarily guns, but you know what I mean. Like like kind of arm uh, like an armoury ready to kind of stop you. And you have to kind of be more stealthy. It's going to be more difficult. And the more times you fail, the more difficult it gets. And it's going to get to a point where like they, they could possibly get away and then it could inflict on the entire game. And like, there's got to be there's, like there'll be a way of getting them, but there'll be this final stage where it's gonna be really, really difficult if you fail a certain amount of times, and it's gonna have implications on your game if you don't kill them. But if you do kill them, then it's also gonna have other implications on your game, in which possibly guards will be uh, not in certain areas, or there'll be different guards in certain areas, and they'll be either more lenient or like you know. Um, 
it can just change sort of how the world works and whether like um it could kind of work like you know how the border towers worked it kind of worked like that but for london so you'd have these different areas where you've got these guys kind of these templars like controlling the area and when you get to take them out then it's sort of like the area becomes a little bit more open to you you can have more sort of freedom in that area and it'll open up even more side quests for you that is a really cool idea that i came up with and i think it sounds really really good they're not going to do it 100 percent, they won't do it but isn't that a super cool idea? Now, what I think they need to do definitely is get the assassination contacts, rethink them, and make them better. They probably won't take my idea and do that, but if you want to tweet it at Ubisoft, then definitely, definitely do that. Take the link from the video and then go onto Twitter and do at Ubisoft and like hashtag, hashtag assassination contracts or hashtag lasers something. I don't know, you guys come up with a hashtag and then um, tweet that at Ubisoft. Uh, like tweet the video Ubisoft and see if they see it. If they see it, they might think of actually doing it. If enough of you guys tweet it out and think it's a really cool idea, um, so that is my idea for the assassination contracts. Something else that I also want to return in Assassin's Creed Victory would be the Brotherhood from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelations. It was also in AC3, but we're not going to count that because it was completely different. But how it worked in Brotherhood in AC3 was really really cool. You had these assassins that you'd find possibly do little missions like you had in Revelations, and then what you do is they become assassins, you train them up, and then they could become um, better assassins to find other Templars, and this could kind of intertwine with the Bureau thing, so if you have, um, like, better assassins, you're going to unlock more of these assassination contracts in more of the Bureaus across the world, and I think that would also, be, I just think it'd be really cool, I love how the Brotherhood works, and it's just a little point that I wanted to make that I want, would love if those, if, they, if those things returned, because I think that'd be really, really cool, and... I don't know about you guys, but that seems pretty cool. And also collectibles is another thing. Um, collectibles would be cool um, to have like we had in Black Flag. I think they had really good collectibles, but um, AC2 had very good collectibles too. It's just Unity's collectibles weren't great, but I'm not I'm not big on collectibles. It doesn't bother me too, too much. Um, but I did go out and try and collect them all in Black Flag, but I didn't in Unity. So it kind of tells you which ones are better and which ones I enjoyed more. But um, that is that is basically it for the collectibles thing. So those were just a few ideas of what I thought would be cool for side quests or side missions in Assassin's Creed Victory. If you guys have any other ideas or if you agree or disagree with what I've said, then comment down in the comment section below. Let me know. I really, really would like to read your comments and think, know what your ideas are for the uh, side quests in Assassin's Creed Victory. If you have any requests for videos you'd like me to do on Assassin's Creed Victory, like what kind of things I want, like soundtrack, like what I want for like the stealth. I don't know, you guys think of stuff because you guys are good at that. But think about that and comment down in the comments below. Let me know what videos you'd like me to make on my thoughts on what should be an Assassin's Creed victory based on a certain topic. Um, so be sure to do that. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smack that like button because that'd be absolutely amazing. Comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Charge over the hills, but the city's had enough. But if we turn and fly, does it almost feel like we will never fall?